This is it. Don't get scared now. <laughs> Hey y'all, today I'm going to give myself a VI peel at home. Um, as you can see, it's not meant to be done at home at all. However, I did go to school for aesthetics and completed all the training needed to be an esthetician and like to be someone that would apply a peel like this. And I have done chemical peels on clients and myself. Um, not this one though, but I do feel fairly comfortable. Um, either way, it's still going to be kind of a risk because I've never, I've never done this one before. So if you are thinking about doing this, I would really suggest not to do it. But if you do, just proceed with caution because I don't even know what's going to happen today. But we're all going to see and I guess maybe you can learn from my mistakes. I don't know. Um, so the first thing it says is to cleanse the face with 100% pure acetone. So I grabbed this. This is what I take fake nails off with. I really was not excited about having it on my face. Um, but then I realized that it came with a little towelette. And I'm assuming that this is already soaked with acetone. Um, it says, use the towelette to prep skin before the VI peel application. With firm pressure, rub the towelette all over the patient's clean face and neck. So, my face is cleansed. My hands are 100% clean. That's definitely acetone. Man, I do not want to put this on my face. But I guess I will. It's dripping all over the place. Oh, Lord! It's freezing cold. Oh gosh. <sighs> yeah, it smells just like nail polish remover, like, I mean, it's acetone. It's pure acetone. Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. What's next? Now you put the peel into a plastic cup, it says, which I really don't understand why because it's not like I'm mixing anything, but I think what I'll do is try to use only half the peel now and save half for another peel. Okay, so it comes in um, a little vial that and I'm going to try to save half of this but it's not full. Okay so I poured about half of the solution into this little mixing cup that it comes with um, about five milliliters it says rub it on with a gauze and when you do a peel you want to start um, kind of from the forehead down and then do the other side or at least that's the way I was trained to do it. Um, you can also go up to your lash line and down to your lash line with a chemical peel you just probably want to do that last. Um, so it says to soak the gauze in the solution, but not where it's like dripping. So let's try that. Here we go. Um, it doesn't really burn or anything. Okay, yes, it does. It does burn a little. Yeah, it burns. Um, they said if you see frosting, which is when the skin turns gray, to stop um, and just kind of skip those areas. And then, you know, just go around them. Um, but frosting, you do, I mean, it's okay to see that um, because that means the skin is pretty much for sure going to peel off in that area. And that's a good sign in a way. I'm gonna get close to my lip, but not on it. All 
Okay, so I've completely applied the peel and my face is pretty red, like I have a sunburn. Um, but yeah, I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Alright, this is day two after the peel. Um, I've just cleansed my face with a cleanser and then you have to use this towelette. And so now I'll show you my skin. Okay, so this is the morning of the second day. I have started to peel just a little bit around my chin. Let me zoom you in. Zoom you in. Um, also in through here and like right around there and it's a little bit red but um, nothing like too irritating or anything. Um, they do give you a hydrocortisone cream too and I put that on last night. Um, and also they say do not peel off the skin just cut it off and I did cut some but some of it like I just had to peel it like I couldn't stand it it was just dangling and I had to but it feels definitely more sensitive underneath where I've done that so I'm gonna try not to do that anymore and yeah I'm really happy so far the skin underneath feels so soft and glowy and it just really looks awesome so I cannot wait to see what tomorrow will bring and just see how good my skin looks so I'll check in with y'all then and hopefully I won't be looking rough as I do now hey y'all um so it's the last day I'm vlogging my VI peel um tomorrow is my first day back to school from break so I have to get up at like 5 45 and kind of be running all day and then I go straight to work so um, this is going to be the last day. As you can see, I can, I'm peeling all around here, um, and I'm about to just peel that off. It's, it's not raw underneath anymore. Sorry, I'm looking so rough. Like, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, like, ugh, okay. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm peeling that off. They say not to do that, but I am going to do that. There's no way, uh, I can take this anymore, so... I'm just like peeling that off and it's not it's not raw or anything like look at that I don't know it's kind of fun but it's it's fine underneath there and it's so soft um, I will definitely do this again probably um, because I really really love the way that my new skin looks I'm gonna zoom you in like God, I don't really want to but I will just so you can see um, you can see the darker skin here is what has not peeled. This is all new skin. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and peel all that off and I'll be done. And it's just so soft and I just absolutely love the way my skin feels. And I can't wait to put on makeup um, and see how that goes because I think it'll be just really smooth looking and just really good. I can tell already my texture on my cheeks. It's a lot better. Um, so yeah, but thank y'all for watching this video and um, let me know if you do this and like how your experience went. Um, so yeah, see y'all later.